Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our latest stable channel update for Google Chrome rolling out, which is now sitting on version 138. And the update rolled out late yesterday on the 24th in my part of the world. Now, once the update has been applied, version and bold is sitting on 138.0.7204.49 or 50. Either or means your browser's up to date on version 138 if you're running Windows, Mac, or Linux. Now, first of all, focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out. With this update, and this will also include our weekly security fixes, we have 11 in total. And thankfully, there are no high severity, no critical, or no zero days. There's just one medium and a couple of lows. So 11 minor security fixes rolling out with this update and as part of our weekly Chromium security fixes. And the other Chromium-based web browsers will also get more or less the same fixes rolling out as well. Now, focusing on what's new in Chrome version 138. And first of all, if we head to privacy and security, click on security. Enhance safe browsing now. Apparently, a smarter security. And I always suggest using enhanced protection in Google Chrome. Standard protection is your default, but I always advise using enhanced. So if you are using Chrome's enhanced safe browsing, enhanced protection, it will now automatically sync across all your devices where you've signed in. This means better protection against dangerous websites and downloads, as I mentioned. And it doesn't matter on which device you're on. So no matter which device you're using, it's going to sync across. So if you enable enhanced protection on one device, it'll sync across all your devices. And there are also new AI-powered features to help identify and prevent online scams. So quite a lot going on with enhanced safe browsing with smarter security. And then for some users, and I say some, because this feature is on a controlled rollout, because you have to have a subscription for this, where for some users, Google's AI Gemini is now integrated directly into Chrome on desktop. That would be for Mac OS and Windows. And as I have been posting quite a lot over the last couple of months, this lets you ask questions about the page you're on, get summaries or clarify concepts without leaving your tab. Now, if you want more information, because I don't have a AI subscription, if you want um, more information, I have... I have posted a whole video when Google confirmed that Gemini Live AI is coming to Chrome, but not for everyone. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you would like some more information. And then if you're using the web apps, Chrome is making it easier for web links to open directly in installed web apps, which I think is a nice move. So this should make your installed web apps feel more like regular apps on your PC, according to Google. And for extensions, if an extension now changes your new tab page, you'll now see a small message in the footer of the page that tells you which extension is responsible for changing the actual new tab page. And while we are talking about extensions, because I know I'm going to get asked this in the comments, if we head into manage extensions, I did suggest when I posted the early stable for version 138 that this would finish off the deprecation of MV2 extensions in Chrome, which I have been posting on, like uBlock Origin, but I still see everything's working, but I still see everything's still okay after upgrading to version 138. But I'm almost certain and 100% sure that when version 139, the next stable release rolls out, we will no longer see MV2 extensions that will be supported in Google Chrome. But obviously, if I get more info regarding that, I'll keep you guys in the loop. And another new improvement is there's a new prompt now for local network access. So basically, what this is all about is that Chrome will now ask you for your permission when your websites or apps try to connect to devices on your local network. As an example, like your router or smart home devices. And this is a security measure to prevent sneaky attacks, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. So that's more or less what's new when it comes to front-facing tweaks and adjustments with those security updates. Now, just to go through one or two other features that were not mentioned. First of all, 
the new new tab page cards as you see displayed on my NTP was a feature that started rolling out with version 137 controls so I'm sure now with 138 if you're not if you haven't seen this you will start seeing the new cards on the new tab page which basically are just synced between your different Chrome web browsers regarding continue with these tabs so tabs you've opened up in other Chrome browsers and if you click on the three dotted menu you can hide these tabs don't show continue with these tabs you can find out about this card and you can customize cards and if you click on that it takes you directly over to the customized Chrome which you can also just click on by clicking on the actual tab and yeah you'll see cards show cards continue with these tabs and the nice thing is you can actually turn this feature off I'm sure this feature will be becoming more widely available with this latest release and then the last one just to mention for this video because I did touch on this with the early stable I did say we could start seeing the first signs of the new split view or split screen feature very similar to what we get in edge and indeed that has actually happened now it's not a default feature it's hidden behind an experimental flag so the new split view flag has become available the experimental flag with this latest 138 release so if you want to enable the new split view in this latest version and you are comfortable to fiddle with experimental features then what we do is we head up to our Omnibox we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and all you do in the search is enter and type in split there we go split view allows users to view two tabs simultaneously in a split view you change that from default to enabled relaunch the browser to apply that flag and now you'll see when we come back if you right click on a tab add tab to split view which is a new feature there we go and we've got our split view and you can view two tabs simultaneously in one window which I think is a nice move and once you've enabled the feature you'll see a toggle yet to the left hand side of the Omnibox so you can reverse views you can close this view or you can separate views so once again it just takes it out into individual tabs so as you can see once you have exited split view that toggle that we clicked on to the left of the Omnibox has been removed so you have to right click add tab to split view now there's still a little bit of work to do on this because in the canary version and preview versions Google has got a couple of extra features that I see are not hidden behind this experimental flag but it seems to be doing the job fine and I think even though it's not a default feature it should be okay for normal use and yeah you've also got your tab here to the bottom of the inactive tab to the right of the inactive tab and you click on that three dot menu you get the same options so just making you aware of that in case you um, wanted to use the feature and weren't aware not a default feature but hidden behind an experimental flag which at least as I mentioned which at least is a move in the right direction and as I said with early stable we should start seeing the first signs and I'm almost sure that by 139 if not 139 140 that will become a fully fledged default feature in the browser so guys that's more or less what's new and what I've spotted with this latest release of Chrome version 138 so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one